that the most wise in society, the ones who are seen as the intellectual elites, the philosopher kings, as Plato said, wouldn't fall victim to the stupidity of gender ideology. Well, if you thought that, like I did, you would be wrong. And here is an excellent case study of that. According to the Telegraph, a Cambridge dean said that Jesus could have been transgender. Why? Why does gender ideology have to infect everything, even religion? Although, let's be clear, it's not religion, it's Christianity. I doubt these progressives would dare to say the same thing about Muhammad or Allah, but because they see Christianity as oppressive to their post-Marxist structures, then they need to tear it down. Like, it's just so funny that these people hate religion 99% of the time, except when they try and use it to fit their own agenda. Like, not to be cringe or anything, but I'm an atheist, and I think the Bible has value. I think there's very interesting and useful and valuable messages taught in the Bible. I was raised Catholic. It teaches you to be modest, it teaches you to be humble, it teaches you to care about other people and shows the value of that, which of course is why the left hate it, because they're so self-centred and narcissistic, which is what gender ideology is. It's being so obsessed with yourself that you think you're capable of defeating the laws of society or even biology and creating this whole new identity. It's just narcissism and that is inherently anti-Christian. Which is ironic because they say capitalism is self-centered and then they base this whole ideology around themselves and these fake labels and identities that they create. And I think as well, transgenderism and general identity politics has come around with the decline of religion. I'm not saying that we should bring back religion, I just think through the lack of community and identity and morality that religion brought along lots of young people are lost like they don't have that same community from going to church and having them community values anymore so they depend on things like tiktok to build friendships and try and find where their value comes from and instead of religion which is so internal they build this whole identity around something so superficial that is gender identity and i think that's why so many young people are misguided and lost and not happy with themselves